In this video, we're going to be using Honest Abe by Strike Gold Shave and the Razor Rock Hawk version 3. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. And if it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing below. As mentioned before, today we're gonna to use Strike Old Shave. This is Honest Abe in the new Patriot base. We'll talk about that in just a moment. And the Razor Rock Hawk uh, version three stainless steel. This is a Schick Pro Line uh, blade, I think it's called. Um, single edge um, artist club style. Razor. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're not going to use a, a pre-shave uh, today because we're using a brand new base. Now, this was sent to me by Strike Gold Shave to evaluate, so I did not pay for that. So please uh, take that into consideration if you want to. I always tell you when something is sent to me for evaluation, so keep that in mind. Today, a little under 24 hours growth, but you can see, you can see the stubble there, the old white uh, stubble. A couple of things I want to mention before we get too far into it. I want to remind you, we're doing a giveaway, two giveaways. One is a giveaway for the Peaceful Shavers charity. You can win uh, a Talbot soap. If you buy his charity soap, I will link below. Also, Johan Solo from Shave and Butcher has a raffle uh, that is ongoing right now to try to find a cure for Parkinson's disease with the Michael J. Fox Foundation. If you contribute to that raffle, you can win the uh, Ginger's Garden F Cancer uh, soap that I bought, have not received yet, but comment in the video I made yesterday if you want to be entered to win that, if you have entered Johan's raffle. We're just trying to support other people uh, and their charities. Also, I wanna mention, while I get started lathering this soap, uh, a Facebook group, that is new to many people. It's called the Lather and Blade Review. Now, I know many of you are in many Facebook groups. This one is pretty special because it's got Busta, it's got uh, Steve Walker, it's got myself, it's got The Stallion, it's got Jam and G.I. James, it's got DK, it's got 326, Marion the Barbarian, Carlito. I mean, it's got a ton of great personalities in it. Ray Pope. Uh, Busta has been posting in there, and Busta has actually made a live video in that group. So if you haven't seen Busta for a long time, I will link the group below. Come on in and join us. It is a fun group. It is not overly moderated. You can show a little bit of your personality. They don't allow politics and stuff like that, but some light-natured uh, ribbing and so on. It's basically just a fun group, and you don't have to worry about, you know, um, old school, super heavy moderation. Um, it's a grown folks shaving group, I like to call it. And so come on in. Wow, this stuff, I got to tell you, I haven't talked about the soap yet, but check out the Lather and Blade review below. Join up if you would like. I'm having a lot of fun in there. Okay. Wow. This stuff makes a wonderful lather. Okay. So, Honest Abe, the scent on this burst of citrus in your face right out of the tub, like boom, right between the eyes, which I love. <sighs> I love the scent of this. This is based on, I wrote it down, Ultra Zest, which I guess was a uh, cologne. What I get, um, you get the tangerine, blood orange, I think ginger, the patchouli. Let me put the way they describe it or the notes right there for you. Phenomenal scent right up my alley. I love, love, love. <sighs> <laughs> this is this is for me perfect the scent again it's based on ultra zest which i've never tried but this is nice um the ingredients in this you got goat's milk shea butter kokum very very good ingredients that i like to see in soaps the price on this is 22.50 for five ounces or four dollars and fifty cents on our price chart which is a fair price not bad at all given the Ingredients, uh, as far as I'm concerned, really nice scent. And so this is going to be our first time with this base. And this base is made by Jennifer Martin for um, Frank of Strike Gold Shave. And so it is available, I think, for pre-order right now on the website. I will link it below for you. Here we go. Hawk version three. Oh, yeah. And I just recently got this back from uh, Jack from the virtual groom room. He was uh, using a little bit and just giving it a, a whirl. And that feels really smooth. 
Resi residual slickness, of course it's there. Given the ingredients, I fully expect that it would be. Um, I haven't tried a strike gold shave soap for a long, long time, many years. Um, I think I tried one when they originally started up um, years and years ago, but it's been at least, I don't know, maybe four years, I, three, four years, I'm not sure. But it's been a while. Uh, and this is the new Patriot Base, which I could tell was going to be good just given the way it looked in the bowl. It looked very good. And the scent is amazing. And so if you like citrus scents, I think you will appreciate this. It's not just citrus. It's got some other stuff in it too, but primarily for me, um, it's citrus. And again, the ingredients, if I didn't put them on the screen, I'll put them there for you now. Very, very nice. And man, I like this Hawk version three. Now, they do have some of these on sale. I don't think this handle option is available. Um, they are, I believe, $69.99 right now, Italian Barber. I will link it below um, with different handle options. And this razor comes in different plate options as well. Open comb, more aggressive. I just have sort of the standard plate. I don't know what plates are available, but I know some of these razors are available. So if you're interested, Check it out, great price for a single edge razor. Um, really nice, and the version three slimmed down the head a little bit, made it feel much more maneuverable than in past uh, versions. I really like this razor, and I am very happy to have bought it. Um, these are produced in Canada, I believe. Razor Rock just kills it when it comes to producing these stainless steel, stainless steel razors. Uh, for really good prices. And this is a smooth shaver for me. It is my favorite single edge razor. Now I don't own the Vector. The Vector is expensive, so I don't own it. Um, if I owned it, I'm sure maybe I would prefer it. Um, I have used it. It is fantastic, but it's been so long. I don't remember, um, you know, I don't remember how it shaved, but I know that I liked it. Um, Blackland did send me one to give away, and I gave that razor um, away. Um, but it's a little on the pricey side, and honestly, um, I don't spend a ton of money on, on DE or SE razors anymore. Let me get a towel, because I'm missing a towel to <laughs> rinse, to wipe my hands off. All right, so we're back, and let's get to lathering again. Got a little towel there to wipe my hands. And again, this stuff right here, it's good quality, there's no doubt. Um... If you saw the video some time back where I used the uh, I used the gold dollar that I got from Strike Gold, and it was a very funky uh, customer service situation. You can go back and watch that video. When I talked to Frank about that issue, he said maybe at some point you'd like to try my new soap base, and uh, he was good to his word. He re reached out to me after the fact and said, hey, I have Honest Abe if you'd like to try it. I said, sure, I'd be willing to try it so long as I can speak with 100% candor about it. And we're doing just that today. And for me, the soap is right up my alley. Um, far as ingredients, the, that goat's milk, shea butter. Um, I really like soaps, with those ingredients in it. Peter Charcalis tends to use those a lot in his soaps. Um, and, you know, I don't expect anything other than Tremendous performance. Uh, this soap is quite good in quality and quite reasonable in price. You can just tell. You know, if you've been using soaps long, a long time, and if you've tried many, many soaps, you'll know a lot of times by the way they look uh, in the bowl. As you can see, there's plenty of hydration in this lather. As you see that sort of dripping there. It can take some water. I don't obsess on talking about how much water um, a soap could take or, or lathering. I make a shaving lather. I don't classify my lather into categories. I'm not, I don't get all wound up about those things. I make a shaving lather, a lather that feels good for shaving. I don't care if it's, you know, high structure, low structure, medium structure, under the structure, over the structure. It makes no difference whatsoever to me. I make the type of lather that suits me for shaving and I suggest you do the same. Focus on focus on the way the lather looks to a certain extent and the way it feels. More importantly, focus on the way the lather is working on your face. 
So if the razor is gliding very well, if you're if it's leaving behind good residual slickness, you're you're where you need to be with your lather. So um, when I say focus on way the way it looks, I don't mean the way it looks on your face. I just mean um, you know keep an eye on it, make sure it's hydrated, and so on. But honestly, you see how easy that razor is gliding there, even when the soap is removed. Tremendous residual slickness. So I would say that straight gold shave here has a, a good quality base on their hands. And again, I say this as a person who didn't have the best first outing with Strike Gold on that on that gold dollar thing. But I'm fair and I'm always honest. And I set aside those types of things because it's not about me being angry with vendors or whether I think I was treated right. It's about using this product and letting the viewers know what I feel about it. The other baggage related to it if I'm just trying to tell you all what sort of product it is, is not relevant to the product. Now, if you want to consider customer service issues as part of the scenario where if you want to do business with a vendor or not, that's a different story. You can take that into consideration. But when I evaluate a product, I really try to keep it to based on the merits of the product um, and the service. Um, so service definitely... Um, I will take into consideration, but I'm not one of those people that um, tries to to bring into play old grievances or, you know, a, um, my feelings about people. You know, I just want to really discuss the, the products and how they work. And as you can see there, this is a good soap. There's just no question about it. Uh, I think you can make a case that the branding might be, the branding by today's standards is probably a little risky. Um, and that, I know that's a very shocking thing to say because we're talking about we have Honest Abe, who's beloved here in America. But given the, given the sort of political climate in our country right now, whereas <laughs> things that we, you know, like Christopher Columbus and all these things are being, the statues and so on being torn down and, People, you know, not appreciating Thomas Jefferson and, you know, the branding on this company uh, is, by in today's climate, a little bit political. It's not intended to be. Like, Honest Abe is awesome, you know. I love Abraham Lincoln. I love Thomas Jefferson. I love John Adams, you know. But in today's climate here in the U.S., it's, it's triggering to people. And so that's why I say it's a little bit uh, risky. But soap... It's good, and the scent is right up my alley, so I would definitely consider uh, buying the Splash for this soap because I think it is uh, really, really good in terms of scent and quality. And as you can see there, just no problems at all. And it is well, um, the scent strength is quite good at certainly over medium, probably 6.5. Um, two seven. Uh, it's a winning. It's a definitely a winning soap for me. So in terms of base, um, I would consider purchasing this for sure. So that's and that's the question we really want to ask when we use an evaluation product: is would I buy this soap with my own money? The answer is yes, absolutely, without hesitation. And again, I say that having had a wonky. You know, experience with with strike gold before but you know when it comes to the product here and the scent i think is if you like citrus uh it's not just a straight tangerine orange i, I don't want you to to get that feeling it is it's more complex and again it's based on ultra zest which i have never experienced and so i can't tell you whether it's true to it or not i'll just tell you that that's what it says and i do appreciate when an artisan or vendor says that a soap is based on X. If it's based on a existing fragrance, I like it when they say so. So my hat's off to Frank and Straight Gold for disclosing that information because it's really helpful to us, you know? The people who are, who are buying this stuff to know if it's based on an existing scent. I don't really like it when that information is not available on the website. Um, I would like to see the base. I don't think the base is on this 
tub. Um, I would like to see the base on the tub. I would like to see the base on every tub. I know it's a pain for the artisans and it might not be advantageous from a business perspective um, for them, but for us, uh, so we can know clearly what we're using, I think it would be awesome. And look at that residual slickness. That's awesome. So Frank, <laughs> what can I tell you? And Jennifer, I should say, Jennifer Martin. She's really come a long way. Not that her soaps were bad before, but I remember trying some of the older ones. And this one is, uh, it has certainly evolved from her previous soaps. And again, not to say the older ones were bad, but this one, you can see just how effortlessly this razor glides on that residual slickness. So a really fine soap here on a stave, in my opinion. Okay. Let us rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. Just for the heck of it, we're going to use our PAA alum today. Not that I need it, but one thing this alum can do is help because it's an astringent. If there's any leftover soap or anything, it'll sort of help deal with that. And honestly, there's very little stinging uh, in the area just right there a little bit, which is normal. But that was an excellent, excellent shave. The blade was great. The soap was great. The Allen block has been treating me well. It's still holding up very well in the dry dock. Again, I'll link it below if you're interested. Let me give this a quick rinse. We'll come back and get into the splash. All right, and of course, it's Lancaster time. Lancaster, I will let you know when I hear about the next drop of these towels. I know people are still looking for them. And the last drop, I know Andre had over 100. They sold quickly, and he didn't know they would sell quickly. And I told him, they will sell out. <laughs> so... There was just no question in my mind. Magic made by witches bears. Good stuff. That was a that was a great smooth shave. I love the razor. Love the soap. Love the whole vibe of the shave. It's really enjoyable. Very nice. All right. Awesome. 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 Quick review here. Razor Rock Hawk version three. Big thumbs up. Uh, on sale right now, $69.99. I don't know what plate or handle options are available because they make a lot of different options available to you, but this is a tremendous single edge razor, especially at the price. We also use the Razor Rock 400 brush sent to me by Oy Vey. Thank you, Oy Vey. And last, but certainly not least. Oh, we didn't even use the splash yet. But anyway, we also use Honest Abe Strike Gold Shave. If you like citrus or if you like the scent of Ultra Zest, I'm assuming, because I don't know, I've never smelled it myself. It's good. We're finishing off today with Sterling Satsuma, which is a tangerine, which I think will go nicely with this. Um, would I buy the Honest Abe? Yes, absolutely. Very good quality soap. Outstanding scent. Thumbs up on that. And of course, you know, big time thumbs up on the Sterling Satsuma. Thanks each and every one of you for watching me. I have been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.